Well folks, how are we all doing? My name is Zeppelin and welcome back to the channel. What you are about to watch today is a series of reactions that are covering The Warning's second album, Queen of the Murder Scene. All of these reactions are of the live versions of the song and are taken from live streams that I have done on my Twitch. The Twitch live streams have been going amazingly up until this point due to the support of you guys and this YouTube channel has also been doing fantastic. Hopefully by the time these videos are going out, we are about to hit partner if we have not hit it already. While a lot of what we have done on this channel has been primarily focused on the warning over the last month or so, there is going to be more diverse content coming to this channel over the coming months. So I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel and turning the notifications on as once we are done with this Queen of the Murder Scene album, we are going to be expanding onto different bands, different types of reactions, and then of course the Queen of the Murder Scene album review will be coming out after all these videos and I think you guys are going to want to stay tuned for that. So I hope you enjoyed this series or have been enjoying it already if we're a couple of videos in and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, enjoy, peace. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And today we are listening to Sinister Smiles by The Warning. This should be a fun one. We are on to chapter three of the album, Queen of the Murder Scene by The Warning. I've really enjoyed the album so far. I think it's a good listen. I haven't even listened to all of the studio versions, especially up to this point um but the was we've just been listening to the live versions and the live versions are good quality like i have the feeling a feeling at least that they're better than the studio versions of the album so there's potential if i do an album review on this that i will in my own time at least look back on the uh on the studio versions of the album because I feel like that's the fairest way to grade the album is to take both into account, not just its best aspects. Like, if if the sound from the album is worse than the live, then the live, then I want to take that into account. Then reviewing when reviewing the album, because the album itself, what they released, is the body of work. But without further ado, let's continue on with Sinister Smiles. This body of control I walk away But before I could start Sinister smile Shut me up And they opened up their mouths To say Great, great Just great apart Great, great Just great apart Interesting enough so far. Nice effect on the guitar there, really nice. Oh yeah, very much the bass is very present in this. Alright, this is we're going to throw the only pause. Thankfully, we only have to do one pauses with these. Well, I think we'll we'll see when I upload them to YouTube. But, um... Okay, obviously, first of all, the sound is good, as uh, Redfield has commented there. You can hear the bass more, which is great. But the song itself hasn't stuck with me yet uh, at all. 
I don't know maybe it's the way it's being sung like the only sort of redeeming aspect for me at the moment is that there's there's interesting change-ups in the in the pacing throughout it which I find pretty cool but in terms of um so far at least where I put it in terms of other songs on the album it 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 feels it feels very mid-tier it feels very filler um not bad I mean it's good but I, it it does to me at least it sounds a little more on the generic side which look i mean when you say that some people like generic especially with rock and in the end as well you have to consider i mean rock has been around since the 60s sort of cl- classic rock then in the 70s and then how it's evolved since you know rock is a very simple thing and most things within the genre of rock have been done already so it takes a lot to not sound generic you know so even though I think it may sound a tad generic, it doesn't necessarily take away from what it's doing if ultimately you like what it's doing. And I mean, I, I and I do as well. It's rock, you know, it definitely is. But it just, I don't know, to me, it just, it isn't, um, it isn't landing yet. It isn't landing. Rock was my nanny. Yeah, plenty of people were raised on rock, Phil. It's raised an entire generation of people who went on to like pop. So they clearly done a terrible, terrible job. I kid, I kid, huh? I, uh, I'm, only, I'm only messing, huh? I only play jokes. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going with it uh, up until the end, and I'll give you my final thoughts. For those watching on YouTube, by the way, I am sick today. So if the mood seems slightly different, it's not anything to do with the music or anything. I am just feeling a bit under the weather today, but wanted to get these done. So let's continue. <laughs> Very nice drum fill there, very nice drum fill. To be fair, I could see this song being a banger live. Like, it could be one of those ones that a lot of people really enjoy live. It just has that sound about it. The builds they're doing, to be fair, in this one's very good. I feel like for the build that they're doing here, though, it should have built to something heavier. Okay, so that was Sinister Smiles by The Warning. I mean, what I was just saying there at the very end, I'm going to add some clarification to there now, is that the song built very well. It became more and more interesting as I listened to it. Like, honestly, I I actually like it more than I did after the first pause, definitely. But what it was building to, I feel like, should have been more heavier. I mean, like, God, even though you could hear the bass clear, like, what a perfect time to maybe add in just slightly more in the drums... I don't necessarily know what you'd added in the drums, because as I said, I'm not quite an expert, but maybe you could have really had more distorted, fuzzier bass, then the guitar could have been more metal-heavy, and then broke into this t- to the riff that they did, or that she did on the guitar on the, on the higher notes. I feel like 
And maybe it's the way it was recorded, maybe it comes through better when you're there. But it felt like that was a good place for it to go heavy. And it was rock, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't um, hev like heavy rock or metal. It's the same way, uh, to pull it back, to, for example, to Z. Look at kind of how Z sort of builds, builds, and then they add the drums and it, and it gets a bit heavy. Everything sort of has a bit more, what do you call it? It's not as punchy, you know, everything gets a bit more uh, meddled and, and, and mixed and louder and, uh, and broader as you come into the end of Z. This feels like a place where maybe they could have done that. Or maybe they didn't choose to and it was a stylistic choice. Maybe it just didn't come through in this particular recording. But um, I think that's just personally what I would have liked to have seen out of the out of the song. You could hear that the vocals were struggling a little bit, but I I I honestly don't think they were that bad. You know, like you'd barely notice anything was awry. You'd just think it's a later song in the gig. You know, you wouldn't even think that there's an altitude problem, which is very good. Um, the the, the like the singing was very it was I think still very good for the most part regardless it's more so just the song itself I, I I had little issues with I had no problem with really the vocals again for live vocals I think you kind of understand the setting you know you understand what you're listening to but that was Sinister Smiles as I said again I I, I did enjoy it it's just again not my favorite but I have to say I did enjoy it and for those of you watching on YouTube that is where we're going to leave it I hope you did enjoy it and I hope to see you soon take care Peace.